guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. So today I'm going to do a worth the splurge on the brand new Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche line of lipsticks. I did recently pick up four of the colors during the VIB sale and I thought I'd go ahead and share my thoughts with you and let you know whether they are worth splurging on or not because these do retail for $26 each. Yes, there are absolutely more expensive lipsticks out there. However, $26 is kind of a lot to spend on a lipstick and I think it would be hard for a good chunk of people to justify that type of investment in a product like a lipstick. So I'm going to run through the colors that I got with you today and give you guys swatches and then let you know what my thoughts are on the new formula compared to the old formula as well so that you can kind of determine whether you think they're worth trying. So the colors that I have are sugarcane, sake, fig, and meringue, and I will give you guys swatches of those. If you're wondering what's on my lips right now, it is meringue. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the claims that these lipsticks are making. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read from the Sephora website, which is where you can find these. I'll link this down below as well. But basically, um, they say that each batch is created and crafted by hand. Um, the batches are small and there is a low heat process that is supposed to preserve a balanced blend of lip quenching nutrients, vitamins, and omega oils. Can you tell I'm kind of tongue twisted today? <laughs> that are essential for achieving healthy looking lips. So these are supposedly made with 12 edible oils. They are triple milled pigments and this is supposed to provide you with um, a long wearing really saturated pigmented lip color. These do have a citrus fragrance to them, so um, the fragrance is definitely noticeable. Um, I don't like it compared to some other lipstick fragrances, like vanilla or cake tend to be pretty typical in lipsticks in terms of flavorings or fragrance, and this definitely has a distinct citrus scent. It's not bad, it's just different from the norm, so that's something to keep in mind. The old Bite Beauty lipstick line was known as the Luminous Cream Lipstick. I have two of the colors from the original line, Kava, which is a beautiful kind of cool mauve, and then Musk, which is more of just a neutral, everyday, rosy pink type shade. I really liked the original lipsticks and was kind of bummed when they did away with them. I kind of was wondering how they could improve upon it because I really enjoyed this formula just in and of itself. And um, I honestly didn't know what they could do to make it better. However, I do think that these new Amuse Bouche lipsticks are even more pigmented, apply in an even more creamy manner, and stick around a whole lot longer. The overall wear of the lipstick is something that I'm crazy impressed by. I find that when I apply this, I can usually go a good five or six hours without reapplying. And that's pretty dang good for me because I tend to eat a lot of snacks throughout the day. I tend to drink a fair amount of water throughout the day and this never really disappears. I do like to freshen it up after about five or six hours, but I could still feel the lipstick on my lips after that amount of time. And that's pretty dang good in my eyes, especially since I tend to talk a lot, and like I said, eat and drink a lot. So that's pretty good. Um, the fragrance is not a huge turnoff to me, but I just don't particularly care for it. Most lipsticks, I think, tend to lean more towards like a cake batter or vanilla type fragrance. This is a very distinct citrus fragrance. So that's something to keep in mind. But the wear and the feel and the texture and the application make the fragrance completely irrelevant because they just wear so well, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some swatches. I'll start out with sake. 
So Sake is a beautiful mauve shade and let's swatch these here. So that's Sake there. You can see how opaque that is. When you apply these on your lips, they don't skip. They don't accentuate any texture that you may have on your lips. This here is Fig. Fig is just a beautiful springy pink. It's like a just pretty rosy pink. So this is Fig. This is Sugar Cane, and Sugar Cane is a nude pink. You guys, honestly, the way these apply, they're just beautiful. There you go. And then the last is the meringue, which I have on my lips right now. And I've been wearing the meringue quite a bit because it's such an easy, everyday, natural nude shade. So you can certainly tell I have a little bit of a preference for nudes and pinks and mauves. And I think that there is a decent selection of that. The color range seems pretty darn good. I don't know exactly how there, how many there are, but um, let's see here. Looks like there's at least 15 or 20 colors. I will, of course, um, link these down below in the on the Sephora website, so you can go take a look there. But I mean, there are some gorgeous nudes. There's some really pretty bright pinks and purples, and even some really really nice brown brick red type shades as well um they even have one called black truffle which is a black violet i almost swatched that one in store but there were people kind of hovering around it so i couldn't really get to that one and then i just forgot about it before i walked out the door with the ones that i did end up purchasing but it truly looks like a black lipstick but people were like gaga over the color they couldn't stop swatching it so um that's definitely one i think worth swatching in store because it's very unique you don't see a lot of like black violet lipsticks out there so i do commend them on the color selection here they're beautiful and the last color that I want to get and that I'll probably just grab in the fall is Pepper. Um, I know one of you had told me that Pepper would be a really great neutral as well. It's more of like a rosy brown type shade. But you guys, I think they're absolutely worth the splurge. They're beautiful. They apply so easily. Now, one thing that was a little bit of an issue with the Luminous Cream lipsticks that I'm not sure is an issue yet with this new formula is that you could not put these in your purse during the summer because they would get really soft and in some cases even completely melt. Um, the Bite Beauty lipsticks are known for their food grade ingredients and so, you know, they don't have a lot of preservatives and they do tend to be a softer formula. These definitely feel a little bit harder, but not crazy hard. By the way, that was my dog that just sneezed. <laughs> um, they do feel a little bit harder, but they're still creamy and opaque and beautiful. So I can't tell you whether these are going to melt in your purse during the summer. I definitely wouldn't make it a point to leave them in a hot car or leave your purse sitting in the trunk of your car on like a 90 degree day. But um, for the most part, I tend to keep the vast majority of my lipsticks at home anyway, because that's where I spend the vast majority of my time. So, um, can't tell you that. You'll have to test that yourself. But overall, I really, really like these, you guys. I think they're worth the splurge. By the way, the packaging is very cute. So when you get these lipsticks in Sephora, they have the name on the top. And then this is just a little, um, like... I don't know what you would even call this like cover for the box that you can pop off the box without the cover is pretty beautiful so I don't know why they put that on there but um, you know these big red lips definitely grab your attention so um, two thumbs up you guys I think they're worth a splurge I really think they're worth trying out if there's one or two colors that you're really intrigued by I would think about picking them up because they're unique they are food grade. You don't have to worry about consuming your lipstick, which we all do throughout the course of the day, either by wearing lipstick when we're eating or drinking or anything like that. 
I just, I love the idea that these are organic, natural ingredients that aren't going to harm you in any kind of way. So there you go. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Let me know if you have the Bite Beauty lipsticks yourselves and what your thoughts are. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.